。啊，我们之所以选择这款电柜做大规模火烧测试，是因为电柜使用时离人员更近，离财产更近，我们更应该注重它的安全。C C C 8 0 0是目前比较成熟的大规模火烧测试标准，已经被广泛使用。但是呢 ，U L 9 5 4 0 A 也即将更新版本，因此呢，我们这次的测试是同时兼顾这两项标准的。极端情况下，柜门是有可能打开的，那么柜门打开的时候，氧气就会充分进入，势必有利于电池柜的持续燃烧。这就是我们要模拟的最恶劣的情况。此时。我们再来观察火势是否蔓延。We had four cabinets arranged: one initiating cabinet, two target cabinets on either side, and a cabinet across an aisle to simulate an as-installed installation of these cabinets. We sent the cells and modules in the thermal runaway. We ignited them with a propane burner, following both CSA C800. And also UL9540A draft edition from this June to make sure we captured all possible large-scale fire test scenarios. And as a function of the test today, we had no fire spread from the initiating cabinet. It stayed in the initiating cabinet A, we called it. Some slight exterior damage to cabinets B and C, which is normal. No cell thermal runaway, no heat, no fire, no flame in any of the other cabinets. So this is a successful test. Congratulations to the Chint team.